All right, so I wanted to show you guys this clip of Ray Longo talking about uh, Colby Covington's comments about Wonder Boy. And then I also wanted to show you a clip of Bryce Mitchell. But I like this this clip right here, talking where, where Colby's talking about Wonder Boy is very, very telling, right? He's he makes an outlandish accusation at Wonder Boy, right? Because if what we're saying is that we take everything really seriously, what Colby says, right? Because my point, my entire point when I first was like, guys, what are we talking about, right? Like, what are we talking about? My whole point was like, look at how he's dressed. Look at what he's doing. Does this seem like a guy who is like, hey guys, I want everyone to take what I say really, really seriously, you know? Like when you dress yourself up, you are saying, this is how seriously you should take me, okay? When I go to you know, tech-based work meetings, as an example, or when I used to, or whatever, okay? I would stand there and I would be in a, like a sport coat a lot of the times, you know, very nice jeans, dress shoes. And I would be talking about metrics that are driving the revenue, you know, growth that they're targeting for Q3 and what types of, you know what I mean? Like, but I'm telling them, you should take me seriously because I'm wearing this. This is what Colby was wearing. And and when you talk about the Wonder Boy thing, it really frames the entire Leon conversation very well. But Ray Longo went off on Colby. And I want to play that. And then also, I want to show you what John Anik said. Because John Anik was like, I don't even understand why everybody's all bent out of shape. He's like, I think I'm in the minority about this. And that was that was my situation, really, was that's all I was saying. Because I was like, I don't understand why everyone else is getting all bent out of shape. Of course I would flip out if I was Leon. But like... Why is everyone else flipping out, you know? So I agree, super messed up that he said that to Leon, for sure. And when I said I did a 180, I didn't actually do a 180. I actually just reiterated what I said, but I just felt like the way I was communicating it was not like getting through to people because people kept commenting me as if I was saying like, yeah, no, that's really cool that he said that. I was like, that's that's not what I was saying. So I'll just say, yeah, I did a 180. It's super messed up what he said, uh, said to Leon because I always thought that. I was just saying, I don't understand why the public is so bent out of shape about it. So anyway, but it's neither here nor here. I want to, I just want to, let me show you this Ray Longo clip. And then I also want to show you uh, a thing, uh, uh, something that Bryce Mitchell put out that man, like I'm, I'm seriously, I, I got choked up watching it, dude. I really did. Like I watched it like, damn dude, that, that got me like that really got me dude. I'm going to show it to you afterwards. So let's start with the Colby Covington thing. Uh, the, the Ray Longo comments. And then I want to make some comments. And then I want to show you what Colby said about Wonder Boy. I know a lot of you guys probably saw this, but I want to show you something very specific about the comments that he made about Wonder Boy in that moment. Ready? The boy handle that like you can't even attack him. That's yeah. how nice the guy is. He's up there and he's smiling, but, you know, he's calling the guy a file. This guy's a piece of shit, you know? Right? Calls Wonder Boy a file. Wonder Boy is doing something. At least he gives back to the community. Colby, you suck in the life out of the community it's just a, like a yeah. leech so also i just want to say this like the way the way that i would discuss this with anyone completely depends on who i'm talking to but i wouldn't change my position it's just about how i would discuss it with said person ray longo is not a guy i'm gonna argue with dude you know what i mean i'm not gonna argue with this guy he's super fucking scary and i'm not gonna change his fucking mind either you know but it, it really honestly has to do with how they interpret it anyway. And so like I can say 100% honest comments to him without, without uh, shedding my, you know, shedding my authenticity because nothing that he's saying is wrong. Exactly. It's just about how angry it should make me. You know what I mean? On society. You know what I mean? And now you're attacking this guy. It's just, I don't know. It's just too much for me. I don't care for it. And man, talk about karma. Because what a piece of shit that fight was. I mean, the guy did absolutely nothing. And uh, yeah, I mean, to be able to take a pro Colby crowd and by the end of the fight, have the crowd against you. Good luck, my man. I hope it was worth the That was pretty rough. Money, the extra 25% yeah. or whatever. I hope it was worth it for you. Because Darren, I, I've been around a long time. I can promise you. This was on Anakin Florian's show on DraftKings, by the way. You that you will regret a lot of shit for the rest of your life, you know? Uh, I think he cost Trump the election. How's that? You know, well, but Mr. President, oh. hey, Mr. President is here to watch me. I got 
<laughs> okay, hang on. So I want to see. I want to find the actual clip of Colby talking to Wonder Boy, which was man. I I guess it's not right here, but I want to show you this right here. Okay, so this right here. Okay, least- this right here. Okay. This is the image that I want to show you, right? Because what did Colby say in this clip? He said, he said that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson and his dad they got a they got they got a van with no windows and they're going around looking for kids, you know, it's telling them they're gonna teach them karate, you know. The guy's in there, he wants to diddle the kids, wants to diddle the kids. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, man. And look at his face, okay. Steven Thompson laughed at this, okay? Wonder Boy laughed at this. Colby Covington said that he's a kitty diddler. Wonder Boy laughed. Look at Colby's face. He's joking. It's a joke with Wonder Boy and Wonder Boy knows it and and Colby knows it. That's why he could say those things in good like in good spirits and everybody laughs together. He's joking. I thought this was great. I thought that exchange was great. Because I like it to be light like that. I like to give people, you know, like if people get the headlines and no one gets bent out of shape, I like that. Now, I don't think that there's any scenario where Colby is going to be able to say what he said about Leon's dad and simultaneously have people smiling about it. That's, I, I am definitely not saying that. But the thing about Wonder Boy, I think was a good, a good example of how seriously this guy should be taken. You know what I mean? But, uh... We'll come back to that, though. I wanted to... Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that. Do it for your boy. I love you guys. All right. Now, I wanted to show you guys this, though. This is the 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 comment that Bryce Mitchell made that... I don't know, man. This hit me straight in the heart bone. Run. Bryce Mitchell thanks Josh Emmett and Joe Rogan after UFC 296's loss. Mitchell just released a video on social media thanking Emmett for not following up on the crushing blow that dispatched him to the Shadow Realm with additional strikes. Hey, y'all, I just watched the fight back, and I wanted to give y'all my basically live reaction to it. Uh, my first thoughts were that was an incredibly hard knockout, and uh, I'm really lucky I didn't get hurt any worse because my head's not hurting. I feel just fine. Uh, I'm right back to work. This is that barn that I was working on when I took the fight. Um, you can see, you know got a lot of work left to do but that's that's what i'm up to okay but i want to let y'all know that i'm so happy with josh emmett because uh right after he knocked me out he could have followed up with the hammer fist and it probably would have killed me and uh he didn't even follow up with anything you know he he was just happy with his knockout and he walked away and i'm so gracious for that i will forever remember that and i love that whole team that alpha male team i love every single one of you guys and uh Thank you for for not hitting me extra, Josh. Dude, I don't know what it is about that clip. But uh I don't know, man. I really like that clip. It's it, there's it's like uh it's like the exact opposite of of how Colby plays it, right? And I don't you listen, do people play it play it how you want. Promote the fight however you want as long as people understand the real stakes of the game. You know, like that was, that was, that was also part of my point when I was talking about what Colby said about Leon was, I was like, dude, these guys are going in and their lives are on the line in there. If someone wants to say a thing that's going to get a little bit under the guy's skin and potentially help you not get killed in the octagon, then, you know, I, I, it's not something I would say, but I, you know what I mean? There's some, there are real stakes coming into this fight and that plays both ways. You know what I mean? That plays both ways in that, yeah, if someone plays a little dirty to try to help protect themselves, I personally wouldn't do it, but I, I'm i kind of soft on them doing it compared to some other people. But on the, and on the other side, when someone takes a devastating knockout like that, and you know, these are fighters, man. Like they've got a lot of pride, dude. Like there's a lot of pride there. Losing a fight is fucking hard, dude. It's really hard. And, I, and when I do videos about that, I'm really cognizant, dude. I, I, I really, really try not to, like, dance on people's graves after a loss. I'm, I, I, like, I really try my best not to do that ever 
just because I know there's a high probability that they'll see it, you know, and, and I, and I don't want to add any kind of negative emotion to it, but for a fighter to take a knockout like that and his response to be thanking the guy who knocked him out for not hitting him more. I don't know, man. <laughs> like, seriously, I, I can't. It's really weird. I actually messaged Bryce about that. I'm like, I can't even really put my finger on why. Like, why that just like was like an arrow into the heart, you know, but it was. So I'm like, damn, dude. He thanked him for not hitting him when he was unconscious. It's kind of like, uh, you know, I can't really explain why that Bobby Green stoppage fucking pissed me off so much. But it did, you know, like it really pissed me off. Not, not, yeah, I mean, not necessarily because whatever, but like, I don't know, dude. I'm actually at really for the first, it, I'm kind of at a loss right now. I don't really know how to explain what I'm trying to say. I don't really understand why I feel the way that I feel which is very, very rare, but I can't really explain it. But Bryce thanking Josh Emmett for not hitting him when he was unconscious got me. And I'm sure that that is directly to connect, you know, directly connected to why I just completely lost my shit when the ref did not pull, you know, Jalen Turner off of Bobby Green. The other thing too is I think uh, if everybody watches that, like if everybody watched Bryce Mitchell say that, I think that there's going to be a fighter or more that doesn't eat a shot when they're unconscious because I don't know if it were me, that would, that would make me think about it for sure. Depends on what a guy says in the pregame, you know, like if someone's all, Hey dude, you know, your grandma, the one that you, the one that you always talk about is your model for your entire life's behavior. She's in hell. You know, I'd be like, is that right? Well, you better hope that you're not fucking unconscious in front of me because I am going to Francis Ngannou on Stipe you, you know? I'm going to literally just try to put as much damage on you as possible. But if a guy is just respectful and they're just my opponent and, uh, like, I sure as hell wouldn't do that to fucking Bryce Mitchell. Not that that would be, not that I would be in that situation anyway. But fuck, dude. I don't know. This is one of those videos I'm not sure if I'm going to post. I don't know if I'm going to post this video. Because I haven't really made any coherent thoughts. Plus, I don't even know what the fuck I would title it. Anyway, I don't know. That's what I got. I love you guys. I got to go. I got to drive to Corpus Christi. Love you guys. Bye-bye.